Look at Pavan. Only 17 years old from Yuba City, California. Alias is Khalil Mack, big Raiders fan, 45 and 15 on the ladder. Could really make a name for himself here. And I'll tell you what, I got a little tippet for you, Scott, is our boy Electrify, a.k.a. Give Me the Fluke. I saw him this morning, and he was telling me he was getting Pavan ready. They were watching the tape on Problem. Uh, they feel ready for him, and he was predicting an upset in this matchup. Well, just like Problem likes it, he'll be on defense first. Pavon with the rock. First and 10 at the 25. And we got some movement up front. And it's Mean Joe Green offsides for Problem. Yeah, and Problem's always had a defensive style. Well, he'll come out in a base type defense. So same look every time. But he'll do multiple adjustments out of it. Nobody is better at adjusting to their, their opponent than Eric Problem Wright. Wentz to Jones. Shout out to his wife, B. Probably back home watching. She's a huge supporter. And problem, you know, he's a full-time Twitch streamer. And a lot of these guys that make these tournaments, they got into competitive Madden watching problem oh, streams. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, Pavan's most likely in problem stream. This is a guy you watch night in and night out and look up to. And now you're sitting across from him, trying to take him out of the tournament and end his Madden season. Well, it's not... You know, Scream! The, the crazy thing today, I mean, I would say that's not far-fetched. We've already had two huge upsets in the AFC North. Yeah, and, but this is what I love about eSports. It's the coolest thing when you can show up to the tournament and actually compete against these guys you look up to. I'm never going to have a chance to go out there and cover Gronker or anything like that, you know what I mean? But in eSports, all of that is possible, Coltrane. It's just part of the reason why it's blowing up and growing at such a rapid rate. Playmakers to the 45. That's going to make it fourth and six for Pavan and the Raiders. Uh-oh, big play early. You don't want to let problems start to get momentum. He makes his living in these types of situations. Bunch to the right. That corner's going to come screaming off of that le left edge. Nope, dropped him back. Oh, man. And knocked down at the line. And there's a turnover on downs. And Problem, who represents Luminosity Gaming, will have the ball for the first time today at the 45. Yeah, he was the first one with a real major eSports sponsor like Luminosity. And they got a good group of guys over there. They sponsor Ninja, who's as popular as anybody on Twitch right now. They're lucky to have a guy like Problem. That was a smart investment for him. Ninja, I've never seen him play Madden. Is this... It's a Madden guy? No, no, he's not a Madden guy. <laughs> yeah, big time Fortnite guy. And we have another stop in the action while these guys set up their sort of their lineups and their audibles. Yeah, they're doing the depth chart. Uh, set that depth chart. So Raiders, Chargers going on right now. Chargers got a good representative and problem. And, and, but Pavon, I'll be honest. By the way, he's got the same shoes on I got on today, Lee. The bread 11s, so he's got some feet heat. There you go. Pavon's been low key. I've been trying to track this kid down to get a tippet from him. Just get anything from him. You can't find him anywhere. You might be just <laughs> in the room lab and getting ready with Gimme the Fluke. We don't know much about him, but we sure as heck know a lot about the guy he's playing. And I'll tell you what, problem's been walking around with a little extra focus in his eye. Oh, yeah. Like we said, we've never seen him in this situation where he might not make that last major tournament. It's, it's just unheard of. And you can tell he's all business. He's not trying to not be there. That's he's that the goal for a reason. It's like Brady not making the playoffs. It just doesn't happen. Needs to win a few games. Got to start by beating Pavon. And after joke went down, I'm not mailing in anything. Oh, yeah. No, this is wide open. Problem's going to need a big game from that NFL playoffs 91 overall, Leonard Fournette. When I watched him earlier in this tournament, he was getting busy with Fournette. And Problem's always been a run-first type player on offense. Going to go to the air. Good read. There's Landry. Nice playmaker to the 40. 
Big 17-yard gain right off the hat. Yeah, 29. No, yeah, 29 years old. It's just so impressive that he's still able to compete at this level. And Fournette got some room. Oh, still on his feet to the 14. Bad, wow. Bad, bad, bad. And we catch flack sometimes. I'll go back and look at these Twitch chats, uh, Scott. Rewatch some of the broadcasts. Oh, why are they giving this guy problem so much credit? Start riding him. No, he deserves the credit. When you have that much longevity and your resume speaks for itself, it's not gassing it. It is what it is. He has earned the right for, for us to speak this highly of him. And what? Oh, oh, come on now. Taking a ride down to the two. Take a look at this again. Look at Fournette. Maybe that's why he's been in the lab with that guy. Got to charge. Oh, if you're going to get carried that far, oh, yeah. you got to charge for that. Oh, man. Rashad Jones and Josh Jones to the Joneses. Get carried down to the two. Fournette. Good stop. Good defense, pun. Remember, Scott, Problem runs that Top Madden crew, which is topmadden.com where they got a bunch of the best Madden players in the world selling tips and tricks. Both him and Drini are part of that crew. Back to Fournette. Ooh. Close to breaking the plane. We're going to have a third and goal from the one, and the bell starts to toll. These one-yard lines aren't give-me's anymore, Coltrane. People used to be able to just sneak it in. The sneak's been watered down more than ever. Get stingy down here. Ball at the half yard line. Looks like he's begging him to sneak though. Oh no, there he goes, closes the middle. He's in! Touchdown, he put Bo Jackson. Yeah, that's right, Bo Jackson. The left tackle out of position version at the center got the block. And there's the touchdown. That's what's good. People, that Bo Jackson's had a bit of controversy. And the thing that they like about him is he can play any position on the offensive line. He has that identifier chemistry that lets you see who your opponent's controlling on defense. And then you could also package him and sub him in at the tight end position for certain formations. So he's a very versatile player, very popular uh, item in the salary cap mode. Take a look at it again to see. There he is. Simple block and a simple sneak. And if people are wondering, why is Bo Jackson playing tackle? Mutt is one of those modes where crazy things like that happen. They'll have a program called Out of Position where they'll put, make items of guys where, you know, they play a different position than they're used to. Bo just happened to have a program where they made a Bo Jackson that... Every position. For every position. <laughs> so you'll see him in some strange places. Yeah, we've seen him kick a few. But a few out of position players for problem, including Paul Krause, is actually at wide out for him. But... Let's switch back to Pavan here. He's on already out to the 40-yard line. Had a decent drive that stalled out in her midfield last time. And another good playmaker to Randy Moss. Look at Pavan. Scullied up. Scullied up in Florida. This looks like a Raiders guy. Yeah, rocking the car jersey. Raiders scully. Got the feet heat going, focused. Making dots, good reads. And there's Julio with a little stiff arm. It's going to move it to the 18, second and three. If you haven't gotten the memo by now either, I mean, this gun bunch formation. <laughs> See it, those three wide receivers bunched up on one side with the halfback and the wide receiver isolated by himself. It's just everybody's go-to bread and butter. We got some movement. Once again, and that'll give him the first down after the encroachment. So the ball's now at the 13. 11 seconds to go in the first. Goes up under center. Devontae Mays is his running back, and he hands it to him. Who? I think that's his backup running back, if I'm not mistaken. Core silver halfback. No, that's that's his guy. That's his guys. No, you know what? 
I was talking to Gimme the Fluke earlier today, yeah. and I got the story behind that. Let's go over to the other game real quick. Let's see what's going on with Drini. He's got a three-point lead. I'll tell you the story later. Sounds good. Remind me. I will. It's good stuff. We'll hand it off to Henry. And he'll rumble down to the three-yard line. Look at KD, Dustin Limus, Fort Worth, Texas, 29 years old. By the way, if any of the Chiefs are watching, we didn't get a chance to go up there this year. Q39 was We need to go to Q39, name. have some of those brisket. Dog, if you're ever in Kansas City, anyone at home listening, It'll change your life. Yo, this isn't an endorsement. This is just me speaking the real to you. Q39 and them burnt ends. They ain't messing around. We're still talking about it a year and a half later. And so Pavan drive stalls inside the red zone. Has to settle for three. 7-3 Seven, three over there. And let's see if KD can pu punch it in. And in the end zone. And the Chiefs. Well, you talk about some rivals. He's going to take the lead with this extra point. Seven to three. And KD 35. He's kind of playing with house money. Yeah. He played Beast Mode Mac earlier in the tournament. And it was looking grim and gloomy for him. And he hit Beast Mode Mac with a last second Hail Mary to in tie over, the ball overtime, game. Overtime, yeah. Took it to overtime. Got an yeah. interception. Won the game in overtime. And he's been making a run ever since and really making a name for himself. I hadn't seen him at any other events. And him, like Pavan, haven't been able to get a piece of him. Yeah, you can't find these guys anywhere. There's just so many players. And just like we thought we'd see Joke and True Boy in a matchup, you keep thinking about Drini and Problem. Oh, we got a fumble. We got a recovery. The Chiefs have got it. KD got it. KD, Dustin Lyman standing up for Fort Worth, Texas. He's got the Madden Challenge champions back against the rope. Adrini's not bandaging it up. That's not a good sign, Scott. Yeah, did not play well. Without the bandana. Without the bandana. Put bandana it on. Bandana up, and he won a belt. Yeah, as soon as Bandana Drini shows up, it's trouble. I don't know if he was saving it for later. He might be looking past KD. Let's go double box here. We got two good games out west. Broncos and Chiefs. We also got Raiders and Chargers. And Pavon is back down there again. Whoa. He's got an opportunity to take the lead. First and goal over there. Henry gets loose on the right. Wow. And so I got both players inside the 10 yard line. Look Pavon at, is down at the one. Look at this. Top Madden, two of the biggest names in the community going up against the relatively unknowns. Finding themselves in some hell games early. I formation decides to sneak it with Wentz. So it's going to be third and goal from the one for Pavon. Boy, that sneak's not what it used to be, Coltrane. No. Third and goal. Goes for it again. And this time he gets in. Pavon's got the lead over Problem. And that's big because you know Problem gets in that half. Had the early stop on Pavon, but it looks like he returned the favor. And real quick, let me tell you about his halfback. Yeah. The Devontae Mays, what he can do, give me the fluke, says is he has a package where he can get his wide receiver down in, at the running back position are even a strong safety Harrison Smith. It will either be Paul Richardson or Harrison Smith. Over here between the Broncos and the Chiefs, we're in the red zone. I don't know how to use a package to get Paul Richardson or Harrison Smith at halfback, but he does and it sounds glitchy, so look out for it. Make him pass! Third and 11. At the 11, two-minute warning. KD trying to go up two possessions. Looks like he wants to run the ball here. That might be a little too conservative. Why not, why not take a chance, try to score, make it two possessions? Motion's outside. He's going to stretch. 
And I don't like that play call. Henry. A little, little too conservative for me given the score there, Coltrane. Of course, we saw Drag run the same exact play on third and 12 and beat Canes. Yeah, but this is a situation where I could see if the field goal is going to give you the lead or if it's going to make it two possessions. You, you know what I'm saying? But it's just still a one possession game. Getting points is still good. But in that situation, why not get a little bit, take a little bit of a shot, get the touchdown, make it two possessions? Ooh, Drini. To the 31. So that's where he'll start his drive over here with problem. It's the GOAT doing on offense. He's got the two minute warning over here. Look at the focus. Second and four. Eric Wright back up against the wall. What can he do on offense? Representing top Madden and luminosity gaming and that goes this goes for any sports not just esports the longer You let the underdog hang around the more they start believing. Yeah, the more confidence they build Very true Scott and There's another Aggressive play up front so we got first and five now and The boo birds are out. I'm not happy about it either. Ball at the 44. That's part of those coaching adjustments, though. Oh, Pavon. And I'm telling you, give me the fluke set. They were ready for this deuce close. He got Pavon in the lab, and they prepared specifically for this. And he said he was going to give problem fits. But I'll tell you what, problem is experienced enough. He's going to stick to his game plan. It's going to take a lot to rattle that man. Of course, fluke, a.k.a. VY Electrify. And it's a fumble! What was that? I've never seen it! I'll take it. I've never seen it! Oh my goodness! Speaking about having to fight through adversity, what happened? He goes to throw and his halfback gets in his way. Fumble! Oh no! Really lucky to recover that. It was Jarvis Landry who jumped on it. Third and 12. So lucky to Mariota recover. Mariota to the side! First down at the 30. And you see Problem keeps his cool, keeps his focus. It got about as fluky as it could get in Madden. Doesn't matter. Responds to the next play. Throws a rocket. First down. Goat means business. Hands it off to Fournette on first down. Maybe got two. Problem. This is a big drive for him. If you can get the touchdown, that's amazing. If you can get the field goal, still happy. Gets the ball at half. No matter what, though, you need to turn this into points. Really keep the momentum going. He's got that Bo Jackson at tight end, that left tackle. And I, I don't know what's going on. Third and eight. Mario, we call this laying down for the bread. And Mariota on a couple of these throws is laying down for problems, Brett. Just throwing it into the dirt. Can't get it past the line of scrimmage. 29 seconds left in the half. Three timeouts for both the Chargers and the, Ra uh, the Raiders. And we got movement again. And you know Keenan Allen was on Twitter earlier today wishing problem luck. Said better represent those San Diego, San Diego Chargers, right? No, no. Sorry. Los Angeles. Los Angeles Chargers. Snuck up on me. Better rep them right. No problems up for the task. Third and three. Good pocket. Great pocket. Throws it to Landry. Laser! And they're going to place it at the one. He's got timeouts, though. He's got all three timeouts. Plenty of time. And this is like on the half yard line. Look at this throw. And that subtle movement, you see how he was rolling out to the left and subtly just made that step to the right to get away from that rusher. It's those little things, Scott, that can separate players. And he will get He's in. in. Uh, Mariota pumping his chest after laying down a little bit, makes up for it. That was a scary drive for problem, but he still prevails. And problem with that focus kicker, the 89 Adam Vinatieri, who's still a fortune on the auction house. And 
Yeah, you see. That's because he can save you a game. Exactly. What that does is you got to pay, I think it's like an extra seven cap to your salary for that focus kicker, maybe even ten. And what it does. Oh, oh no, Pavon! What the focus kicker does, Scott, is it makes that kick meter move as if it's on the pro difficulty, so it's extremely slow, makes it easier to get those perfect kicks. And Problem says he goes with the focus kicker because he's been on the big stage enough times where he knows those kicks are a little bit different when the lights are on. So why not have the focus kicker as some insurance? Over That's here, move. between the Broncos and the Chiefs, Drini still finds himself trailing to KD, who's going to get the ball first. And there's Night Train! Oh! And that's going to be great field position out at the 46 with a four-point lead for that man right there. And I like those decisions about salary caps, Scott. It's, hey, do I want to spend the extra to get the focus kicker, sure. but I got to sacrifice somewhere else? Or am I good enough at kicking normally where I could, don't need to spend that cap and I could use it somewhere else on my team that I need some help? Hands it off to Henry. Spins his way. To the 49, just shy of midfield. Real quick, I got to give a shout out to Mutthead.com because these guys, they spend, that's, you could build salary cap lineups on that website, and these guys spend hours upon hours building those salary cap lineups on Mutthead. It's a fantastic tool. If you haven't checked that out, you got to log on there and check it out. Big shout out to Rockets. Yeah, the whole crew over there. Always so classy, good guys. Which part of the Curse Network, which is now Twitch. Kralo used to be up there. He's now down. EA. Here at EA. Yeah, he's a hard worker. Saw him on, a, on Wednesday. Still getting settled in down here. And he's doing a good job, man. We like him around the office. Dead ringer for Grey Worm, though. If you're a Game of Thrones fan. <laughs> and, that, and I mean that as like a, a great compliment. He really does look like Grey Worm. That's funny. Third and eight. Good read. And Landry gets down on it at the 30-yard line. KD looking good here. Drini looking worried. And I do Dustin Limus. Every time we're watching him play, he's just, he looks good. Nice and focused over there. I believe he handled business in his... Yeah, he won 31-3 versus chasing a check to actually win after he beat Beast Mode Mac to go on and win the club series for the Kansas City Chiefs. Represent them. Derrick Henry! And pinning the extra point. He's going to be up 11, RG. Jeez, this is how you make a name for yourself, KD. I mean, Drini was flourishing on the CW special that they had for the Madden Challenge. Coming one of the biggest names in the community and huge Denver Broncos fan. And here he goes, finds himself down 11 against a relatively unknown player. Gosh, I love competitive gaming. He's got to get back into this one. Maybe, just maybe... Overlooking this matchup with the Chiefs and KD, thinking about problem. facing problem in the next round. Absolutely, that's a real thing. We'll be honest with you, both of these guys got some work to do. Because remember, Drini, though he's one of the best players in the country, this is still his first year of eligibility to really be able to compete on the MCS, so he doesn't have the most experience. I'm not saying he's a rookie or anything like that. He's world class, but still. Experience is something that can't be replaced. Chad Johnson takes it to the 38, third and five. And I'll be honest with you, I'm really impressed with the user of KD right now. Really have shut down a lot of the routes on the rollout. Third and five. Quick throw. And that's a good way to combat a great user. Quick throws to the outside. Yeah, absolutely, because the users are usually taking away that middle of the field, controlling one of those linebackers. If you're, if you're a newbie at home and 
you're still controlling your D lineman or I don't want to say <laughs> newbie, but if you're a casual Madden player, sure. you're controlling your D lineman. Pay attention to how these guys play defense. They always control that linebacker or the safety. That's what you want to do. You see that user defender right there? Running around, taking away things. That's what you want to do if you want to improve your Madden game. Get off the D-line. Get out there and lurk something. That's how these guys take a lot of pressure. You know, chances with their pressure. Because they know they got the user to be able to cover up. He's going to bring his user in. And I think he was crossed the line. Yeah. Second time today we've seen that. One was a called back touchdown for I'm Wild. And Drini better bandana her up in the fourth quarter. From what I'm noticing, there's a big difference between regular Drini and bandana Drini. Third and 15 there. We got a timeout. So while we got a timeout, let's float over to the other side. Yeah, let's see what's going on in that problem game. Raiders and Chargers with problem and Paven. And problem running it. Ooh. And he's in the red zone down to the six-yard line, first and goal. Oh, this is big for the GOAT. If he can get a touchdown and make this two possession, it's going to be really hard for Pavin to make his way back. Is it Pavin or Pavon? See, I didn't even get to ask him. That's I, I how think it's, he's I think been. It's, yeah, tomato, tomato. Is he in? Just shy. I'm going. <clears throat> Pavon is where I'm going to where I'm going to go the rest of the way. We're going to go Pavon. I don't know, Pavin sounds pretty good, too. It's all good, yeah. I like them both. Pavon. Hey, you get, you get a dub over the GOAT, we'll call you whatever you want to be called. But Pavon has looked sharp so far. He's got his back up against the wall here. He desperately needs a goal line stand. You don't want to be down two possessions in the fourth quarter. Got Bo Jackson in there at center again. To the greatest Madden player of all time. Oh, what a hit! Big time hit on the outside. Makes it third and goal at the two. Must stop. Hold the door. Yeah, for all those Game of Thrones out fans out there, this is what we call the hold the door moment. That goal line's the door. Do your best hold or impression and hold it. Ball at the two. Hold or. Hands it off to Fortnite, and it's He's a touchdown it. problem. He made it to the Super Bowl last year in Houston. Lost the dubby after beating Sirius Mo. That's what I'm saying. It's crazy to me that people say this guy is why It's the most absurd. He's been a play away from winning the belt a couple times. He made the Madden. Finals against Stiff the first year he won. Made the championship at the Madden Bowl against Dubby. And then last year in the biggest event of them all, the Madden Championship Series, was in the final game against Skimbo. All of them hell games. Sometimes when I think about that Madden 16 final, I wake up in a cold sweat of fullback dives and aggressive catches. Let's get an update on the other side. Guys? Well, guys, Drini's had a pretty frustrating game here so far, trying to get back into things, rolling out right, forcing the ball downfield. That is going to be a pick going the other way for K35. And then right after that, Rico, he got down to business on offense. OMG. One of the greatest runs we've seen in Madden. Woo! Got, ah, watch out now. Here we go. Wait, no, not done. You don't see me. Can't get me. To the house. All the way to the crib. He is up 24 to 6. We are less than a minute left in the third quarter. Time for Drini to get it going. He wants to try and take on problem the next round, guys. Wow, 24 to 6. We're down in Florida. I mean, I'm all about water sports. But that water's starting to rise. Flood and coming over there for Drini. Yeah, I did not see that coming at all. That is unbelievable. Oh, Adrian, if I mean, assuming that continues... To go down that way, I would love to hear what KD has to say if he can pull off that upset. Roll out. Can get the first down and will. Got to get down. Got to get up to get down. The thing about hitting these quarterbacks, I'll give you a tip. If you really want them to fumble, what you need to do is you need to win a hit stick or a strip animation. Once you get one of those, the fumble chance skyrockets. But if you're just in a normal wrap tackle on the quarterback, it's very rare that he's going to fumble. But if you can pull off that hit stick or that strip, Scott, 
you really, really got a good chance of force put, making them put the ball on the ground. First and 10 at the 25, trailing by 11. And throws it away. This youngster's got, he's made some smart decisions. Oh, I've been impressed with him. I was born in 2000, the year 2000. What, what am I doing? He's making me feel old. Wow. I'm 87. <laughs> Second and 10, Wentz takes off. Step over for another update. What's going on, Dave? Well, another Drinny pick as he tries to get back into this game. So far, DJ has been able to put him in the box. Rolling right again, cannot quite get it over. And that is going to be going the other way. DJ is driving down the field again, up 24-6. Four and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter, guys. Oh, wow. It's one of them days. You remember how Kiv had one of those days in the second half versus Drini in the finals? Yeah. Uh, he's having one of those days. Yeah, it's Drini's time to, time to put the floaties on. High throw to the back of the end zone. Nobody home. He and now it's second and goal. Field goal still big here. Young Kiv lost in the Seahawks championship of this tournament to Killer Mike no, for the second year I'll in a row. I'll be honest with you. Don't sign up for the Seattle Seahawks <laughs> club series, because, you know, the club championship, because Kill Killer Mike's going to be there. And it's, did, did you see Donnie's stat? He's won 14 yeah. straight. Yeah, Rico threw that out on the club series broadcast yesterday. Games. Wow. Of course, Donnie Moore. I was told there'd be no math, so that's why we have Donnie. I want Donnie a part of the broadcast. That's all. Like, what, what we call data with Donnie. I yep. need, I need the data okay with Donnie with that. segment. I'm okay. You, you get my vote. Second and goal. Low throw at the shoelaces. And now, what are you gonna do? Third and goal at the four. Needs to punch it in. Another low throw, and Randy Moss comes up oh, big. It's not over. And now you need the two-point conversion, RG. Oh, my goodness. Plenty of time left in this game. And he looks focused, man. Wentz, quick throw. And somehow, Julio. Oh, it's a three-point game. Avin, man, he's staying at one stop. It's a fluke. He's asking for fluke. Forget the fluke, just lock up. Hate when they ask for the fluke. If you get it, you take you, you'll take it. Sure, no one's gonna turn it down. No one's turning it down. Don't rely on it. It's never a good game plan. Let's see what can happen. Problem with the ball. Up by a field goal. And that'll take us all the way down to the two-minute warning. Nope. Oh, he's going to burn a timeout. Burned it. Yes, why I've not? seen some guys do this. Yeah, why not? Save some time. Try to stay on the north side of that two-minute warning. Here in the AFC West, Raiders and Chargers. Just put a couple of first downs together here. Swings it to the outside and... Calling for that chemistry, and he's got it. Yelling the secure tackler. That's Shot a, Jones. It's a good note if your problem, too, throwing to that flat. You got a secure tackler out there guarding it. Might want to try to the other side. Third and 11 now. Needs a first down. Oh. And he's getting sacked, and now here comes a big fourth down. It's huge. Oh, my goodness. What's problem going to do? I think he might go for this. At the very, you go for it. If you don't get it, you know you're going to have a tie game possibly. But you're going to have a chance to get the ball back. That, that, it shortens the field. But it's interesting. Only being up three. This is big. Needs 15. Steps up. Playmaker. Yes, 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 that's huge. First down problem. Oh, and the crowd reacts to it. The coach steps up once again. And we've seen it time and time again. Playmakers, Paul Krause, up the field. 
And it's a first down out at the 37. Dude, he's been clutch for over a decade, Coltrane. Some things never change. So first and 10 now, clock on the move. Only one timeout left. Let's get an update on the other side. Guys, Drini finally getting something going his way here. A big hit stick fumble. Gets a nice return, actually, with his lineman all the way back down. Rico finally able to punch the ball in. Yep, don't call it a comeback. Drini's been good for years. <laughs> That's right, here he is right here. Looking left, throwing into the flats, getting down even closer to the end zone, and finally just finishes it off with the handoff. 24-13, approaching a two-minute warning. We'll keep you posted, guys. Uh -oh. Drini trying to fight. Here's third and five on this side. Out of timeouts. Got to have a stop here or it's over. Three-point game, I formation. Stretches it out, four net. And it's going to depend on the spot. He's right there at the marker. Stop. First it's down over. and this game is over. Problem will move on. Wow, what a game. Chargers will be victorious over the Raiders. Khalil Mack, a.k.a. Young Pavan, only 17 years old. Fought. Yuba fought hard. City. You fought hard. You went up against the greatest Madden player of all time at his back up against the ropes. That's something you, that's cool right that's there. Something you always remember. That's cool. No time for pleasantries. We got to get over on the other side, RG. We got Chiefs and Broncos where Drini is over here trailing by 11, doesn't have the ball. We're under the two minute warning. Drini out of timeouts, got to have a stop here and he's going to need a whole lot of magic. Motion. He's going to stretch it. Henry, got to make a stop and he won't. Wow. And that'll do it over here too. Wow. Upset city, Coltrane. We've had three upsets so far in the AFC. True Boy, Drini, and Joke. Well, one thing I can guarantee you is come Ultimate League time, Drini's going to be bandanaed up. Yeah, I don't know if he left the bandana at the hotel or. Yeah, he's had it the whole tournament. I don't know what happened. And he's done. He's going to shake his today. hand and he's. I will, I will attest to the temperature. But wow, just, you can tell, you can see the emotion, just didn't have it today. Well, you know, the story, I think, though, is KD. Here's a guy that no one had really heard of coming into this tournament. He's silently making his way through it, representing those Kansas City Chiefs, 29 years old, Fort Worth, Texas, and boy, has he made a name for himself now. Problem getting the big win. He's going to be moving on. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. As you see the scores here, DJ getting the win, 24 to 13. Big KD fan. Of course, that's his gamer tag. We call him KD. You guys will know him as DJ. And then Problem with a three-point win in his matchup. So he's moving on. That's going to be it. DJ and Problem going to be in the next round. That'll be an ESPN News on the big television at 10 p.m. Eastern. And they're actually standing by with our third member of our broadcast team, Adrian Lawrence. Thanks, Scott. I'm standing here with probably the most well-known man in Madden, problem. And then someone here, DJ, not as well-known, so let's get into this. You pulled off the win today. Who are you? Uh, I'm a nobody. Nobody had me winning this, anything. So, you know, just to come out here and beat two champions already, I'm looking to beat a third. Yeah, I wouldn't sign that by that, That's quite a feat. That is quite a feat. And Problem, I think he has something to say to that. Good luck. <laughs> and Problem, I know you pulled off that win too, and it kind of got dicey in a little bit uh, during a certain time, especially when you had that touchdown and two point conversion. What was going through your head? Um, what am I going to do on offense to get a couple first downs? Just. I knew it was in my hands regardless if he scored and I just had to make a couple plays and I made those plays and was able to pull it out. And DJ, you're going to come up against Problem next. How are you going to handle that? 
Uh, you'll have to find out. <laughs> <laughs> a man of few words. That's all right. Maintain the man of mystery here. Problem. What are your thoughts on DJ since there's not too much known about him right now? Um, I'm, I don't know a lot about him. I've played him online. He's a, he's a great player. He's obviously knocked off uh, one of my guys that I practice with, Jarini. We're going to talk and see what, he, you know, what, what we can do better in the next game. All right. Well, best of luck to both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Back to you guys. Good luck. Thank you, Adrian. We appreciate that.